Hey guys, Kid Gear here. I'm gonna show you today how I record my podcasts and how I upload them. Now, I got a lot of questions on here because a lot of people want to start podcasts or whatever, and it's it's actually very simple. You know, setting it up and all. Now you you're gonna have to go through your own you know personal settings like as in uh, signing up for your uh, signing up for the service like iTunes or whatever it may be because you're gonna need credit cards and stuff like that to sign up for an account. But I'm gonna show you how to upload the podcast because it's actually really simple, guys. And uh, I'm going to show you a list of programs that I recommend. As you see here, the steps are pretty simple. So first off, of course, you're going to want to get your podcast, decide which uh, uh, which service you're going to use, whether it be iTunes, Zoom Marketplace, etc. And now you're going to want to get it, rec- uh, you know, whatever your podcast may be, you're going to get a, a recorder. And uh, today I'm going to be using Audacity because, one, it's universal. Uh, it works on OS X. It works on uh, Windows. And I'm, pretty, I'm not sure. Uh, doesn't it work on... Linux, um, is it uh, universal? Uh, let me double check this. But anyways, I'm also going to show you where you can download it. Just type in Audacity. That's A-U-D-A-C-I-T, sorry. Audacity, and that's right here. Audacity.sourceforge.net. I'll leave the link in the video description. Oh, no, no, okay, see, you, it's for Windows, and I'm pretty sure Linux, yeah, yeah, it's universal. So Linux, Unix, OS X, Windows, pick where you want to download. I'll leave this link in the video description. So, uh... Yeah, guys, it's a great recorder, and here's the interface right now. So it may look kind of, you know, it's not really intimidating, but it's actually really, really easy to use. And if you want to get into a whole, you know, tweaking the audio, it's up to you. But you, uh, you normally, if you're just going to do a regular podca- podcast like I do, uh, first off, you want to start new, of course, when that's very new, and then you want to set up your track. Uh, you can, you know, drop, import that in. Where is that? You can, if you want to import audio stuff like that you can import MIDI aud- import audio you can import mp3 songs in here all that stuff that's up to you you can tweak that around but anyways I'm just gonna record here so set it up with your microphone or, or stereo mix or whatever you wanna set it up with adjust your levels and hit record hello hello testing audio test audio test great thing about this it shows you your uh, audio levels so you know how to maintain uh, you know if your voice is too high too low great thing about audacity audacity you can pause your recording stop your recording Go back, highlight it, and listen to it. And you can hear that playing off my speakers. Um, and great thing is you can cut stuff. So let's say you didn't like that part. Just highlight it, delete it, uh, record something else. You can copy it and paste it right back into the track. So we're going to record something off another track. And let's say I want to, you know, want it to sound all in one piece. I'm going to try and perfectly manage it right here. And you can move around with the, your arrow keys just to get it perfect and hit V and it sh- plays as all as one audio track. Now I can delete that. I can even delete the whole track. I can, you know, adjust the settings for it. I can adjust the mono, the right channel, left channel, all that stuff. You know, that's you can get really intense with your audio with Audacity, which is really great if you want to. Like I said, it's universal, so whatever operating system. You can even add effects as in increasing the pitch and keep in mind to uh you know do all these options make sure you have your audio highlighted and then you can amplify bass boost it's it's all up to you you can set it perfectly for your uh um podcast and then you want you don't want to save the pro you can save the project if you are looking save it so you can edit it you know in the future or you know that's just saving the actual project itself on audacity now you're going to want to export it as an mp3 or wave whatever usually it's an mp3 uh whatever your uh what do you call that? Whatever your podcast directory accepts the file as. And let me just show you right here under my documents, my folders. I even have a podcast folder here. So if you, if you, you all my MP3s right there for my podcast. And it's good to keep a, a podcast folder laying around so you can organize everything. So that's the first step. Record your thing. And then you're going to want to move on to your directory. And I'm going to be showing here the directory I use, which is podbean.com. You can sign up free here, podcast hosting, searching, and subscribing. And you get you you log in, and then it's going to give you your own uh, it gives you your own uh, account and your RS, your own RSS feed. And from here, you can upload to the site. And using you know, it's 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 pretty self-explanatory. It has a type of WordPress dashboard. Uh, if you use WordPress, you know the dashboard uh, layout, the GUI, or yeah, the interface is basically the same. So it's easy to manage around. You're just going to upload it. And you to get a it uploads to iTunes and you're gonna want to set it up with iTunes and go into the iTunes store, everything like that. Make sure you have an account wherever you're uploading it to. And if you're at the iTunes store and you don't have an account and you do want to register, you're gonna need a credit card. 
So it, 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 it's it's free to upload. It's just that you need an account. So if you buy music or whatever, so you just want, if you want to set up an account, just go to the iTunes Store, go to Podcasts. And I already have my account set up here. So and you click Podcasts, and what should show right around here uh, should be submit a podcast, and you know you can sign up from there. So if you guys want to find me, you can always head to Technology and type in Tech World and you'll find me right here and you can subscribe to the podcast whatever and it shows all the episodes right there some people who are subscribed to the show stuff like that so after you upload it you upload it through your uh, directory and there's podbean there's techpodcast.com I'm also a member of this one and so you have a lot of options on which one to go to you can go to tech podcast if you if you you know want to use them Podbean if you want to use them, or you can make your own RSS feed. Now this is a little different, difficult. You're gonna have to know a little bit of HTML and XML. So this site right here actually gives a great walkthrough at make-rss.feeds.com. I'll leave this in the video description. And uh, yeah, after you make your R, if you can make your RSS feed, if you want to just do that, you can go to a directory to upload, and you have your own RSS feed over there. And you can even upload their to their own directory, so they have their own directory as well. They act like as an iTunes or a, you know, whatever, but they can also upload. So basically, they're giving you a directory, okay? So they're, they're letting you store all your files on their storage. And not only that, it's uh, outputting it to their community. But you can also output using your RSS feeds to iTunes and Zune. So basically, you're putting your content on their, on their directory, and you're putting it on iTunes. It's sharing it throughout it all. So that's basically what the directories do. Podbean, Tech Podcast, or you can make your own RSS feed and just hook that up with iTunes. And how you want to hook that up is, or even test it, I should say, if you go to Advanced, I think Open Stream, and type in the RSS feed right there and hit OK, you can test out your RSS feed to make sure it's working. But yeah, guys, that's it. So record it with whatever program you want to use. You can use Audacity, like I use, a sound recorder on Windows. That, I'm pretty sure that works. Podcast software, uh, whatever you may have. Uh, I'm pretty sure OS X has its own podcasting software. And then save it as an MP3 or a compatible file, whatever your directory uses. Upload it to the directory, which would up, or your RSS feed if you made your own. But anyway, your directory will up, update it to your RSS feed by itself. And then link it with your service, which should be iTunes, Zoom Marketplace, whatever. Anyways, guys, that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed this. And that's how I submit my podcast, and that's how you can submit yours. Anyways, guys, I'll get more into this in the future. Thanks for watching.